What's up, everybody? What's up, KM? Pudgetastic. Hey, what's up, Natalia? Love Daddy. Glenn Jacob, Mr. Third Eye, Strike. Um, Emigdio. 
Anyone else that's here, thank you so much for hanging out. Hey. What's up, Dime93? What's going on? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well, my friend. <laughs> Love Daddy, I just read what you wrote. Pay a dollar for every time a woman told me that. <laughs> you did it, maybe. How'd that go? Did it go well? I hope it went well for you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Try love, Daddy. At least you're good for something, man. About time. About dang time. Or bad man, what's up? Here. I'm here. All clear. Lord Batman's here. All clear. Hey, Raul, welcome back. You're drunk? All right. You made the choice to get drunk, Raul. You made the choice. So whatever you choose to do is still a reflection on what you do, okay? <laughs> Two bottles of wine. Damn. Hey, this one guy, no gaming. What's up, man? How are you? How are you freaking doing, dude? Two bottles of wine. You behave yourself. <laughs> Try, you behave now, you hear? You behave yourself now. Where was I last time? Oh, we just got out of Grannon's, Grannon's office. Okay. Gaming sounds good. Here for the single ladies. Well, Natalia's not single. I think she's the only lady here, so you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Communion. Maybe there'll be some single ladies later. I think almost all the girls that come here are taken. Carrie's taken. Natalia's taken. Who else? What other ladies are here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A little bit. Damn it. They're all thanks for the retweet. Ah, single as fuck in New York. Where's the bandana? It's right here. I might put it on. We'll see. We'll see. And all my own business. Nice. Trying to think what other ladies are here a lot. Gosh, I'm, I know I'm leaving someone. Oh, Mom Anita. I'm not sure. I've never really asked. And Jacob, you're a male, though. I'm talking about single ladies. You're a male, aren't you? And gamer mom. I guess gamer mom is single. Yeah. Love daddy, you did call dibs. Call dibs on her like she's property, love daddy. Gosh, you, this is the 21st century, bro. Call dibs on her. Come on, bro. Only on the weekends, Clint. <laughs> Major, Sokolov's already been moved to the fortress. But that's only what Granin told you, right? He may have been giving you false info. No, he wasn't lying. Thank you, KM Nation. Sure. Gut feeling. Good enough for me. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Right. Then if I climb the mountains, there'll be an underground tunnel leading to Groznygrad near the summit. Start out when by going we'll back see. to the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. In New York, dang roll. Uh, strike, I worked all day. I was a supervisor today where I worked. Um, and I did treatments too, but I was a supervisor and providing physical therapy treatments. 
Um, and then worked out. Hung up with my wife for a little bit. Um, and she had to go to work. And then, after that, um, I actually, one of, one of my friends, I played uh, Dead by Daylight with him a little bit. It was actually pretty fun. Dead by Daylight's actually really fun. So yeah, hey Kato dude, hey man, hey <laughs> JT, got it. Then Jacob with the three dollar ninety nine cent donation, keep up the awesome streaming, mother sucker. He says, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Glenn. We well, did truck. It was fun. Got you this time, Andres. Got you this time, Glenn. Jacob. Hey, Andres. Do you, hey, Q Dog. What's up? It's good to see you, Kato. Hope you're doing well. Do you want that three ninety nine to go towards the fighter old age, Glenn? Hey, Babe Lord. What's going on, dude? How are you doing? According to Granin. You should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Start out by going back to the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north okay, of the too. door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. Press the crawl button. Oh my lord. I see you, Raul. Oh, come on. Sigint. Granin said something about putting legs on a tank. Nice, baby. Do you Lord. know what he was talking about? If you ask me, it's gotta be a joke. Not only is making a tank walk on two legs a technical nightmare, but there's no point in making a walking tank to begin with. JT, good to see you, man. Putting legs on a tank would raise its clearance, increasing its frontal projection area. It'd also be less stable. Suppose the legs help the tank travel on bad roads. I, Andres, I don't you see know the it. logic in that. Isn't that what treads are for? I mean, anybody who'd seriously consider making a thing like that has got to be a wacko. Come to think of it, there was a guy in the States who wrote a paper on that subject. What was his name? Emerson? Heinrich? Something like that. I don't really remember. <laughs> Emerson. Heinrich. Of course, no one took that seriously. Abigail, hello. Your legs on the tank, that would never work. Oh, man, we went below 3,900. Oh no! I don't know how we gotta we gotta get some hype up in here. We gotta get some hype up in here. Get to that thirty nine hundred again. Let's go. Noodle Poodle, hey man! Thanks for following me on Twitter, by the way. I saw that. Sigint, Grannon was saying that Sokolov's research project was a tank fitted with rockets. Uh huh. Do you have any idea what he meant? Sorry, beats me. I wonder if it's supposed to increase the tank's mobility, or maybe give the tank short-range missile launching capability. Bro, oh, what do you mean? But you're sure it has something to do with phase Thank two you, Abigail. Shepard, right? Thank you. Yeah. Khrushchev traded Cuba just to get this thing finished, and Volgan blew up a Soviet research facility to get his hands on it. Whatever it is, it's got to be big. <laughs> So, Glenn Jacob, do you want the three ninety nine to go towards the fighter old age? Sigint, do you know anything about that philosopher's legacy Grandin was talking about? Not a clue. Never even heard of something like that until now. Right. One thing's for sure, though. Vogan's got a huge amount of money stashed away somewhere. Hey, Hotshot. Philosopher's legacy, huh? Thanks for the retweet there. Maybe it is real. Noodle poodle. That's Nita. Mama Nita. Hey, Mama Nita. I said Noodle Poodle Nita. Hey, Nita, thank you. Playing your game, yo. That Order of Lenin that Granin was talking about is the most prestigious award in the Soviet Union. It's given to individuals, organizations, and cities Fight. for outstanding achievements in warfare, science, industry, the arts, and various other fields. You could say it's the highest honor the East has to give. Oh, God. Crap, crap, crap. I didn't mean to do that.
Let me add that on there to the fight. All right, so that was from Glenn Jacob. Three ninety nine to fight. One four six four eight. <laughs> that sounds like a codec frequency. Four one four six point four eight. Oh, come on. That'll work. Boom. 146.48. Sigin or Drebin? Uh, Sigin. I love Sigin. Raul, because he loves me. That's why. Hot shot, you're good. You say Granin was involved in the development of the SS-1C. The oh, SS strike, I'm sorry. is the Soviet's newest short range Abigail, tactical that's it. ballistic missile. Based on what Western Intel has been able to gather, it's capable of being launched from a mobile platform. Mobile? Oh, platform. hot shot, nice. Yeah. It's a transport vehicle that functions as an erector and a launcher. It can travel on roads, then erect and launch a missile from any location. We're past that point already, of Mama course, Nita. In addition to conventional explosives, the missiles could also be fitted with chemical or even nuclear warheads. A nuclear missile that can be launched from any location. I'll bet it wasn't the missile itself that Granin helped develop. More likely, it was the mobile platform. From what okay. I've heard, the SS-1C is set for actual deployment as early as next year. That's bound to send a chill down NATO spine. Nita, yeah, that's why. <laughs> There's no, it's not there because it's impossible to do that now. We got past that point, so yeah. So you found yourself a cigarette-shaped. Finally, talks gun. about it. The cigarette-shaped narcosis gun is just it's what okay, the name Nita, says, a sleeping gas gun shaped like a cigarette. It must be a hey, test Kevin. model that Granin's lab is working on for KGB spies. Equip it and press the weapon button to fire sleeping gas. It's got a short range, but any enemy that gets hit You're by off. the gas nice. will be knocked out In your out comfy cold. chair? Pattern clothing. Okay. It sounds pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Nothing different there. The book is different. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's out of here. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Rocking the tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Naked. I'm not going to do this for real. I'm just doing this so I can get the book. Now what? Talk to me about my book. Splitter was used. Oh, come on. So you've got your unit. When you fire... So how does it taste? Eat food. You can cap. Yeah, that's right, Kato. Naked snake. According to Granin. Yeah, to Gamer Mom, we went down. We're below 3,900 again. My subs went down. I lost four since last night. Who dared unsub to me? Go find them. Go get them. Go get them, Gamer Mom. We did, but then we lost it. So we don't really have it any. We really don't have it anymore, so. So you didn't really miss it. Walk the plank. <laughs> How dare they. That's right, Strike. You tell him. Nothing here. No! Man, he just happened to be 
keep walking right there, that motherfucker. <laughs> that motherfucker. Gray Fox. And it says Emma Shattered Memories. But Gray Fox, thanks for the sub and Emma Shattered Memories. God! Emma Shattered Memories and Gray Fox, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Budge 007 Agency channel, my friend. Remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Wow. Welcome to the family, son. Yeah, don't make accounts, though, to, to bring it up, because it'll unsubscribe them anyway if you make that up. If you make them up. So thank you. Gray Fox. Gray Fox. Gosh, and I always do fun right there. He just happened to be looking at me right then, and I tried to turn around. It was too late. It was too late. Ah! Who's going to go through those codec calls again? It was... We went through them. That's right, we broke it, baby. Love Daddy True. Oh, bro, I'll get it this time. That's the only one. I, I usually get through it. That box helps a lot. Welcome back, Natalia. Does high still work? Kevin, it's called uh, Spy Games. Yeah, Raul, you can't be saying that word. That is no. Stop it, Raul, right now. Chloe Price, welcome. Welcome. Hello, Chloe. Ah! Huh. Chloe Price, thanks for the sub and thank you so much for subscribing. And remember, you only get one life to live. Chloe, live it to the max. How you doing? Welcome to the family, son. Welcome to the stream. Fudge! Where was he? Raul, drop it. You keep talking about it, I'm going to ban you from my stream. Don't test me. Don't test me. God, I didn't. Th I guess he was in the corner. I couldn't see him. Roll. Shut it. When it comes when it comes to racial slurs, I don't play. Stop. Hey, Sean, what's up? My mug. It says these puns are armed and deadly instead of deadly. These puns are armed and deadly. Okay, just can't be saying that kind of stuff in here, dude. No, nobody. Good to see you. Chloe, yeah, ain't gonna happen. Kev, it's good to see you. Yeah, Sean, Sean came in late. Gosh, man, I usually go through that like that. That dang scientist is kicking my butt today. 
Yeah, he came at the very end. So, yeah, Cato says, these puns are armed and deadly. I'll show you. Backwards. These puns are armed and deadly. <sighs> I've got to, and the thing is, I've got to protect my stream, man. Puns of the Patriots. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is it. Please, God, work. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick, what's going on? <laughs> Raul, you're backseating. Sit in the top. Just sit in your timeout corner for five minutes. Chill out. Don't backseat. Don't use racial slurs. It's not that hard. God! Just like, just like, just like Ryden would say, just like Ryden would say, you're beginning to get on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, KM. I'm good, Kato. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, all right. This is the time right here. Here we go. Can oh, God, who in the heck? Johnny Dunham. Johnny Dunham, thanks for the sub and thank you so much for subscribing. Or, sorry, not subscribing. Becoming a member of the agency, my friend. Because of your willingness to serve, we can make this world a lot more fun place to live one game at a time. Come on in, Johnny Dunham. Get on in here. Yeah. If you did become an agent, let me just go through this real quick. Welcome in. Let me know what license number you want, Johnny, if you'd like it. If you want to make this license throw a card, I'll make for you a PNG file. Enjoy that extra 4,000 Intel used for when we do giveaways. Enjoy that Fox Sound badge and those emotes, baby. Give it up for our newest agent, Johnny Dunn. Get on in here. All right, so Johnny. So, for example, this is I always number 420 because 420. So you get a number that's it's up that's three digits, and if it's available, I'll let you know. Undyne's good to have you here. So I'll get your your own agent number, and you get like the mission, which is the game that we're playing. So I can put a comment on there. 
Da, 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 da. Typically a number, except for who was that a cleaning agent? Was that you, Sean? Can't remember. Yeah, the one if you have it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cleaning agent. I knew. That's why I said typically. All right, this is the time right here. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Pudge. Here we go. Okay. How often? Whenever we make get big. Uh, when the next giveaway I'm gonna do is when we get to four thousand subs. Agent four seventy four. I'll make it for you. Oh god, oh god. Ugh. There. Ah, right, we're good. Thank you, Undone. Thank God! Finally! Took me long enough. So, Agent 474. Send me five. Let me make that for you. I don't think anyone has that one. Uh, so that was Johnny Dunham, right? Let me make sure I spelled it right. D o h n n y d u n h a m. Okay. And then it is what? It's the nineteenth. Is that right? The nineteenth. Mission Metal Gear Solid Three. Snake Eater. Oh no. Is 009 taken? Uh, AM Nation? I don't know. Doesn't look like it, though. Yeah, so Johnny, your thing's on there. I don't think anyone has that one. Dang it, someone does right now. Someone, 009 is taken. Monolithum has it right now. But it's just on Twitter. I'll let you have it. Hey, AM, if, if he's just the only one that has it on there... And I'll let you have 009 as well. Since they're over on uh, Twitch. That Otacon? Yeah. Don't. Hey, Darren. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Um, let's see if we can get these codec calls done. The ones that we just did, just to get them out of the way. Uh, he looks so scientific, I know. Major. Yeah, we talked about this. Good to see you, Darren. Press the Sigan. Yeah, yeah. Sigan. 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 That. You're pretty good. You say Gran and. Yep. Hideo Kojima. Oh my gosh, Glenn. Your field, you. Okay, here we go. Hideo Kojima with that one pound donation. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Kojima, sir, what would you want that to go towards? I see that you changed the picture too as Hideo Kojima. With Konami in the background, by the way. <laughs> That's legit. Fight. <laughs> and does it have to be done through YouTube gaming?
KM, I... I think it does. Anyone else know the answer to that? Who's done it? Um, I think you do. But I don't think you can, I don't think it's through YouTube. You have to think you have to do it through YouTube gaming, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yep. It sounds legit. Hey Peter. Yeah, I think it's just YouTube gaming though. Noodle Poodle, uh, whenever you start the game, when you do a new save, when you start a brand new save, if you choose, I love Metal Gear Solid 3. It'll, it'll let you have those. Patrick, you did? Well, thank you. Okay, Sean and Strike are contradicting each other. So I don't know what to believe. You want to save? Hold on a sec. Thank you, Patrick, so much. Kevin, they're funny. Yeah, Kevin, you're right. Did I not say hi to somebody? If I didn't, please let me know. Undyne, you mean, uh, I think you mean subscribe. I mean, uh, sponsor. It's called member. Pick a member now. Subsistence. Well, Noodle, when you started the game, did you say, I like Metal Gear Solid 1 or 2 or 3? Which one did you choose? Yeah, Undyne. Undyne, don't worry about that. You just being here means the world to me. Thank you. That view means a lot. And the more views I have, the better the stream is. The more that it shows to people. So... Oh, I knew you meant Bell Patrick. I knew what you meant. So, I mean, if we get, you know, 30, 40, 50 viewers, I mean, that's awesome. Oh, Noodle, then I don't know then. Snake, have you ever seen the beast from 20,000 Fathoms? Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's about this monster that comes to life from deep within a glacier as a result of an H-bomb test in the Arctic. It crosses the ocean. I gotta get 350 million viewers like George. The monster attacks the lighthouse, and the one where it pops out of a valley in Manhattan and makes a big hole in a building. And the last scene of the roller coaster was simply incredible. And because I saw it in a drive-in theater, I actually felt like I was a part of the movie. It's funny, isn't it? How you can let yourself get absorbed into these things without thinking even when you know it's not real. Distinguishing between what's real and what's not isn't always as simple as we think. Well, don't get too absorbed in your mission. It's important to take a rest every now and then. Nanny, did I just say Big George? What? I said like George. Like George. Kato, I don't think so. 147.75. So for the the fight, like, I think we're definitely going to be fighting him. <laughs> it's not even a contest. All right. Oh, let's see. Desert is a brown... According to Grant, it's what in Japanese? Yeah, I didn't know that. After playing Metal Gear Solid V, I want to like crawl and do the roll. Nani, Nani. How's that? Nanny. But you can't do the roll. Nanny. <laughs> nanny. Nanny. <laughs> nanny. Hey, Nanny.
No, it's for the end fight. I know, Sean, but I love the fight. I got my way of taking him out. The fear is next, though. The fear. Nope. Croc cap hype. The fear. Was well, this been an in-depth playthrough? I'm gonna cheese it. Nothing to see here. Just an alligator. Nothing here. Hey, hey croc cap all croc. Dilly dilly. That's right, dude. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. I know, that's so funny. Yeah, KM, that's why that's what the old age is. Press the action. Oh my lordy lord. You'll suffer but painting your face with black paint should Still not answering. What the heck? Moving on. Yeah, but then you have some of the ocelots there instead. I wonder how my. I bet my food's. I bet a lot of it's spoiled. Nope. Oh. Was fairly tasty. Actually, that could come in handy. I just. If I just want to. Disgusting. Sick. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> That's right, hey Dale. This is horrible. That's true. It can help you with that. That is true. This is horrible. Yes, this is sick because it's really cool. That's right. That's right. Oh, let me... Uh... The in-depth, you just like try to get every Kodak call as much as you can. Yeah, Sean, yeah. Sick. Thermals. You know, I don't really need that for what I'm going to do. You want to save? I've done all these saves, guys, if you're wondering. Like, why are you doing all these saves? So we can get all the movie lines from... Uh, 
paramedic. Why don't I go for all the frogs? Because I don't want to. I've already gotten that trophy. I'm never doing it again. I've done it once. Don't need to do it again. What's up, Raul? Welcome back. You talking about the music, Noodle? I really wasn't worried. I was talking about all the coded calls. That's true, though, Noodle. Raul, that's true. Yeah. Definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to pull my hair out. And that's like, I did the frogs. Done with it. Never doing it again. Snake, really? have you seen The Magnificent Seven? Sorry. It's a remake of the Japanese classic The Seven Samurai, only in a Western setting. This tiny Mexican village is attacked every year by bandits. Finally, the village elder can't stand it any longer Bro, and decides true, to hire yeah. someone to protect the village. Seven gunmen respond to the call. They teach the villagers how to shoot and prepare for the oncoming attack. But then, the enemy shows up at the village with a huge band. Then what happens? You'll just have to see it for yourself. I don't want to spoil it. Oh. Movies are only fun when you actually watch them. There's something you have to experience for yourself. Raul, I know. It's tough. This is horrible. All right, sounds good, Sean. Don't you? You better come back. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I hate to see you go, Sean, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> hey, Dark Death. Kato, right? Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? No. Not a beating at all. The boss is a friend. such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time for you to feel the fear. Been shot with a poison bolt. The poison is spreading throughout your body. Your life is going to keep decreasing unless you do something about it. Hurry and neutralize the poison. Go into the survival viewer and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. The serum will neutralize the poison, but don't forget to treat the bolt wound itself as well. To treat a bolt wound, you'll need your knife, a styptic, and a disinfectant. Got Use it. your knife to dig out the bolt, and then apply styptic and disinfectant to the wound. Got it. Follow those steps, and the wound should heal right away. Hey, Keith. Away. Now start the treatment. Hurry. Got it. <laughs> The 
Fear is using something called yeah, stealth sure. camouflage to conceal himself. But you should be able to spot him if you look closely in first person view. Watch for rustling grass, mm. falling leaves, anything that will betray the <laughs> The kind of and shoot him in first person view. The fear's stealth camouflage apparently drains his stamina rather quickly. Once he's used up his stamina, he'll have no choice but to go looking for food. That's your chance. Throw one of your food items to set a trap for him. Plant a claymore or some TNT and lure him into it, or lure him into one of his own traps. Giving him poisoned or rotten food may also work well. Used properly, your food can be a weapon. You can knock down the fear's bolts with your gun or knife. If you can't dodge a bolt, go into first person view and shoot it down. Snake, be careful. Those woods are riddled with traps. Watch your step as you go. Bro, the fury. Look out for areas of bottomless swamp. Even if you don't trigger a trap, the fear can still use it to attack you by setting it off himself. Got it. Be careful about standing too close to traps. On the other hand, you might be able to use his own traps against him. For example, you could place some food next to him. You can dodge a wrench. him over to it. Use your head. <laughs> you dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. The fear's stealth camouflage apparently drains his stamina rather quickly. Once he's used up his stamina, he'll have no... The fear coats his poison bullets with venom from the Brazilian wandering bullets, spider. Bullets, it's bolts. The Brazilian wandering spider is said to have the deadliest venom of any Be spider true. in the world. It's a potent neurotoxin. So if you get hit by one of the fear's poison bolts, go to cure in the survival viewer and inject yourself with serum immediately before it kills you. Got it. The rabbits in that area have antibodies that protect them against the venom of the Brazilian wandering spider. They probably built up an immunity from the fear using them to test his poison bolts. Catching one of those rabbits will give you some serum. If you run out of serum, go catch a rabbit. To treat a bolt, the pain. Wound, you'll need your knife, a styptic, and a disinfectant. To treat a bolt. Okay. Snake, the fear is supposed to be wearing some kind of stealth camo. Got it. I don't know how it works exactly, but it seems to refract the light around it somehow to hide the person who's wearing it. This is the best camouflage I've ever seen. Or not it's going seen. To be tough to figure <laughs> out where he is. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a weak point. Apparently, wearing stealth camo really drains your stamina. When he's out of stamina, the camo will stop working. Don't miss your opportunity. But I'm scared. Just because he's wearing stealth camo doesn't mean he's not there. Well, not you crap. Can figure out his location by using your sensors. Make use of your motion detector and active sonar. Yeah, I can't do that on European Extreme. Should help you out too. The fear uses two kinds of crossbows: the Little Joe and the William Tell. The Little Joe is designed for proximity combat. It's not that powerful, but the reload time is short. The William Tell, on the other hand, is used for long-range combat. It takes a while to reload, but it's got loads of stopping power. Be careful. Got it. In addition to regular crossbow bolts, the Fear uses a variety of special bolts, like poison bolts and giant bolts. Hmm. I've even heard he uses bolts with grenades attached to them. No way. If you get hit by any of these, you're going to take some serious damage. Watch out. Okay. Just because he's wearing stealth camo. Apparently, wearing stealth camo really drains your stamina. When he's out of stamina, the camo will stop working. Don't miss your opportunity. Snake, are you saving? Yes. I am. I am saving. Noodle Poodle, that it is.
The crevice snake. The crevice snake. The crevice snake. The crevice snake. Let's talk about my crock cap, Eva. Let's go. Hang in there. I'm trying. No. Come back alive, okay? Okay. Naturally. Oh, I don't have the thing. What? Let's see if I get it. Just when the real fear was about to begin. Dang it, I missed it! Ah, oh, man, dang it. That's why I saved it there. I usually get it every time. God. This is the cheese right here. <laughs> it is. I've taken. I've. I've taken him out CQC only. That's tough. I just don't feel like doing that right now. I want to do another CQC only run. CQC knife only run. This game again on European Extreme. It is tough. But it's fun, though. Gosh! <laughs> okay, him, right? Come on, let's go! Load! Kato, it's tough, dude, but it's fun. Peter, European Extreme is the hardest mode. T -t 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 Today, Junior. Thanks, Anita. Gone. She gone. I ran. I ran her off. What? Already. Uh, just when the real fear was about to begin. Uh What? Oh. Revival pill, duh. I was like, where's the death pill?
Here's my suggestion for you, Raw. Stop backseating. It's a t it's a ban next time. I'm tired of it. Seriously. It's my number one pet peeve. You've been here long enough. Stop. I'm tired of babysitting you. Please respect my wishes. I thought I had a fake up, but I didn't. What? There we go. That's it. Hey, Silent Drift, what's up, man? That you gotta do that tactical reload. The fear, the fear. I see it. And that's the a wrap. Fear. Dang, Silent Drifter, you worked your butt off. And Don, it's there. They're set to self destruct whenever they get defeated or whatever, so. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through Kato. a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. You're not going to talk about the dude I just killed? Start out by going back to the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Start out by going back to the warehouse. Use the key. Well, they have it. The, it's whenever they that get killed or whatever, python. or if they get captured. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. It's not venomous, but it's still. It's weird. When you fire, I forgot about that. Guess not. Um. So Undone, the thing is, like even before all this, they had a micro bomb to where if they got captured or anything like that, um, they would set something off to where they couldn't even leave their bodies behind. So they had a micro bomb that would go off so they didn't even leave a corpse. They were that black ops. That makes sense. Yeah. Black Black Ops. Alright, now we gotta work on getting the Suchi Noko. Hot shot, pretty much. Jacob. It's a cold thought. I know. I get that. That's just 
what they said. Just a game. You'll see. It actually starts with a T. Yeah, it's a rare animal. I have two of them. Hey, you got a mouse trap. I sure did. That mouse trap is a portable tool Pokemon, for capturing sounds small like animals alive. Press the weapon button to place it on the ground. Come back a little bit later and there might be a frog or a snake caught in there. Whether or not you actually catch anything, though, is all a matter of luck. Don't get all down if there's nothing in the trap. Try and try again. Also, don't forget that you need some bait in the trap or nothing's gonna come crawling in there. Hell wait. If you capture an animal with a trap, it won't have any bait left. Just crawl to pick it up. Then put some more bait back in and set it down again. You can use the map in the survival viewer to see where you've placed traps. If you forget where you put a trap, just look at the map. Oh, I know, when you eat it. Try to get him to say something about the book, but I don't know if they will. Whenever you find... You're on a... Okay, I guess not. Alright, let's leave him. How you doing, Solid Snake? Good to see you. Oh my gosh, Keith. <laughs> yeah, I know, Strike. Now, see what we caught. This is how I catch it. Oh, we caught it! We caught it. Yeah, that was crazy. I can't believe we caught it first try. Wow. Snake, you caught a Tsuchinoko. What? Is it true, Snake? Yeah. Way to go, my man. You really are the boss's apprentice. Yes, it looks like sending you in was worth it after all. <laughs> Hurry up and finish your mission and then bring it back to us. Under no circumstances are you to eat it. Is that clear? <sighs> Food place. If you approach an enemy undetected, you can render him defenseless by jutting... <laughs> Pit trap. And we've already caught it. The Tsuchinoko! So here's what the Suchinoko looks like, for those that don't know. It's this short looking, it's a snake. It's a really short, fat snake. Mama Nita, Mama Nita. Mama Nita, are you about to pass out? <laughs> Kato, it is rare. I'm very surprised I caught it that quick. Be honest with you. Getting started to go to sleep. I 
I know Silent Drifter, right? It's like, what are you so excited about? There she is. They not started. Oh, okay, cool. Kato, they do. I'm not gonna eat it yet, but I'll eat it later and see if they get really mad. I can't remember. If I'd already eaten it, but we'll see. But yeah, they do get. They're like, "What are you doing?" Save my game. Save my game. Saving the game, Snake. Yeah. Say my game, say my game. I am, okay. I understand. Say my game, say my game. When no one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. What a sudden change. Say my game, say my game. Hey, Simba. That reminds me, this morning for like about 10 minutes before I had to get up to go to work. I know, Kato. Anyway, um, 10 minutes before I gotta get up to go to work. And then my cat. Anonymous! That was a bad name. Still can't see. Anonymous, whoever you Snap. are. Have thanks you for ever the seen sub. My mother was a teenage spider queen from Mars. Thanks for subscribing. Remember, you're looking for to live. Live it to the max. Neither have I. Neither have I. That's funny. Neither have I. Um, anyway, 10 minutes before I got up, because my Simba never does this. But 10, min 10 minutes before I had to get up, he comes up and snuggles with me. You're the effing boss. That's why it was anonymous, because it had the word, it had the F word in it. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Simba came up and like, got up and snuggled next to me. He never does that. Ever. I'm like, of all the times, man... And he was like, I'll snug it on me and let me like put my arm around him. He never does that. And I'm like, why do you do that right 10 minutes before I gotta get up? Why don't you do that earlier? <laughs> yeah, thank you. You are the effing boss. Appreciate the, <laughs> the sub there. <gasps> What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Damn it. God. I screwed that up. What's wrong? All right. What's wrong? <laughs> uh, nothing. Where are you? You get Kato. Where you at, bro? There he is. Oscar Enrique Reyes Mendez, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Pudge 007 Agency channel, my friend. Remember, you only get one life to live, baby. Live it. Oops, I pushed the wrong thing. Live it.
to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Thank you. To the snacks. Okay. Hot shot. Maybe. I doubt it. But I need to go, 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 go. Don't wake up, 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 don't wake up. Welcome to the pantry, son. Elvis freaking Presley. Dilly dilly, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Try to strike anytime. According. <laughs> I see you have a calorie mate. Uh. Calorie mate. The thing you're holding now? Yeah. Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Yeah. Try it, it's pretty good. Okay. But what is this thing? <laughs> hey, don't be cruel. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. Calorie Mate is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well balanced <laughs> food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. Hey, tell what that emo It's though. easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an <laughs> important damn. mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? What? It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet Too hard, that's true. nothing at all is bad <laughs> for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes, I love Japan. Returns in the Andres unknown. No such person. No such song. I don't be true. Do a hall that's true. No, me true. Uh, that's some crazy crew. camouflage crew, you got on. Yeah, it's snake camo. Snake? Well, I guess it does kind of suit you. Thanks for the compliment. Still, it does look like pretty effective stuff. It's a good all purpose camo. It should give you a high level of cover against just about any type of background. Thanks. Um. Actually, let's let him look at my. <sighs> Did that one already? Spider. All right, thank you, Strike. Have a good one, buddy. Y'all be back tomorrow for show. Making myself and put it right in my hand. And if it comes back the very next day, then I'll understand. Ba da 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 da. Return to send an address unknown. <laughs> no such person. No hey, Snake, such what's that song. It's spider camouflage. It used to belong to the fear. Is that right? <laughs> well, it's not as good as the stuff the fear was wearing. But it still seems to have a pretty decent amount of stealth capability. Peter, no, I'm still going for a while. From the looks of it, the wearer uses stamina to power Thanks, the Kadeo. stealth function. With this thing on, your camo index will stay at a high level no matter where you go. But if you run out of stamina, the stealth function will stop working. Keep that in mind. <laughs> hey, Bobby V. Yeah, the one I really like to do is this when it goes, uh... A little sister, don't you? A little sister, don't you? A little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice? Say it's very nice, and then you run. A little sister, don't you do what your business is done? 
Well, I dated your big sister and introduced her to the show. Something we married and something, 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 and I rolled out of the door. Apparently, I don't remember all the words, but I like that one. That one's pretty cool. What am I doing? Pudge of his Presley. That's me. Yeah, Elvis. Yeah, yeah, man, for sure. Everything looks normal. I got out of there just in time. Mm -mm -mm. What'd you got for me here? This paramedic. That area is home to a small bird called the red avatavat. That a what? The red avatavat is a small bird native to southern China and Southeast Asia. This is its mating season, so the males ought to be a brilliant red color right now. If you want to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. By catching one and then releasing it, you might be able to distract the enemy's attention. I see. How do they taste? The what? What? The flavor. You, you're not going to eat such a cute little bird, are you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah! Something bothering you? No. Okay then, so, how about it? How should I know? <laughs> you can capture animals up. There's a mushroom called the Spatsa growing in that area. Spa. Spatsa. Spatsa. Right. Interesting name. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. So Hello. paramedic. What? What kind of mushroom is a Spatsa? Uh, you really want to know? I guess so. Okay, let's see. The spots, uh... Yeah? It's gray. Mm. And it grows on the ground. Yeah, and? That's all. <laughs> That's all? <laughs> That's all the guide says. What? Okay, so I don't know that much about it. Why don't you eat one and see? It might be pretty tasty. Eat one and see? What do I look like, a lab rat? <laughs> Shh. What? What did I say? What if the rats hear you? You'll hurt their feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Eat food to recover stamina. Capture plants and animals to get food. Snake, there should be vine melons growing in that area. Hey, Supreme. The vine melon Face is a kind of melon commonly found in Salino Yarsk. Like the name says, it's a melon that grows on a vine. The flesh is crisp and delicious. The vine melon is full of potassium and carotene, so it's good for you as well. Great. Next time you see a vine, why not check to see if there's a melon growing on it? How you doing, Roan? 2106. There's an herb called the Amarkudzu growing in that area. Amur kudzu is a member of the bean family and a close relative of the kudzu weed. The roots contain a number of isoflavins such as daidzin, which give it. Well, thank you, Elvis. I appreciate it, buddy. Products. It's good to have you here, man. It'll make a good cold medicine if you find some. Got it. Food poisoning is. When you get shot. Arrow to the knee. Some types of. Okay. Here we go. Keith. Snake, are you there? <laughs> Eva. Welcome back, Sean. Where are you? Eva. In the fortress in Groznygrad. Thank you, Elvis. Appreciate it, bud. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now, he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohod. Good. That means I have a um, Okay, him. Noodle. See Not you. yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the phase two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, They'll have no more use for him. The colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Yeah, Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north <laughs> through an underground tunnel. <laughs> Granin told you? Yeah, he even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. 
He was crocked. You're kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What? what problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granon gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. Supreme, yes. At your Metal Gear Solid 4. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the Cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Mm. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. Ron, we just beat him a minute ago. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. The forest? Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. The end for me. The name of that forest is Sviato Gorni. In Russian, it means something like the sacred mountain path. The name comes from an old folktale about mountain spirits who passed through there on their way to Sokrovieno, the forest to the north. Head north and you'll come to Sokrovieno. The tunnel that leads to the mountains is in the northern area of Sokrovieno. I'll meet you in the ruins at the top of the mountains. I'll give you the key to the tunnel leading to Groznygrad when you get there. Remember, Ugh. go north. Go north. But Sokrovieno is also where... I know. The end, right? Yeah. One of the Cobras, the end, is waiting for you in Sokrovieno. He's a legendary sniper. Until you defeat him in battle... I won't be able to move on. Right. Then I'll just have to beat him. I guess you will. <laughs> That's right. You ain't nothing but a carbon box. Walking around all the time. <laughs> Next, walking around in a carbon box. And hiding all the time. He ain't ever gonna get past the ambassador you love that. Eva. What? What? I couldn't get a hold of you for a while there. What were you doing? Stuff. What do you think I was doing? That's what I'm asking you. Why are you asking me that? <laughs> because I want to know, that's why. That's why. Want to know what? Will you stop answering my questions with questions? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Now all you have to do is follow the tunnel north to the mountains of Krasnogorye. But you might want to swing around east first. There's a provision storehouse there. Oh, yeah. Head north and you'll come to Sokorovieno. The tunnel that leads to the mountain. Now all you have to do is follow the tunnel north to the Jeez, mountains right. of Krasnogorye. But you might want to swing around east first. There's a provision storehouse there. You said you were out of train, you you dying all the time. <laughs> Good one. Snake, be careful. That area... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vulcan plowing you. Got it. <laughs> ah, that's good. Some blue Christmas. Uh, oh, have a blue Christmas without you. And I'll be so blue just so they can Oh, how about you? <laughs> Take a free, send a free on a green Christmas tree for me to sing. If you're not a hit with me, <laughs> okay. That was by day, snake by night. That's me, man. You caught me. Oh, yeah. Top notch. No doubt. <laughs> 
You know it. Cheers, brother. Another, another mag. Head north and you. Yeah. Looks like you're using splitter face. Yeah, I sure am. How'd you know? True, Sean, true. Dan, Turok, Turok! Interesting. That you brought up Turok, golly, that game though. You want to save? Yes. Sean, what are you talking about? Any day now. Like, Metal Gear Solid 2 is so fast. And why is this one so freaking slow? Jeez. Chin up. I'll be in touch. That's it? I've gone through all of them already. Yeah. Boom. Ha! Got him! I'll see you, Silent. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Thank you, Elvis. Appreciate you, bud. Thanks for doing that, brother. Should be where that thing is. Sure. Yeah. Here we go. I'm trying to get that other uh, gun. You want to save? Yep. I know, Sean's like, golly, let's go. 
Trying to get all these codec calls from her, but then, of course, just to be safe as well. Let's go. Come on, game. Any day now. Take care, Snake. I will. I guess we've done them all. Sean, I guess so. Kato. I know Sean, right? Lieutenant Diane, I got new legs. Anonymous. I think probably have a terrible name, but hopefully it's good. Lieutenant Diane, I got new legs. Thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, where the F is the wife? It's been a long day, huh? Well, where is your wife? Thank you for the sub, I guess. What an interesting name. I do say so myself. She gone, huh? Oh. Where is she? All right, M sixty three. Yeah, Nita, I'm trying to get all this stuff in here. That's right. I know. What's that alligator doing in here? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Dreamy McStevie! I see you got yourself an M63. Hell yeah, I do. The M63 is an American-made system weapon. Kato, no it doesn't. Uh, I've heard of it before, but... But you never got your hands on one. Doesn't surprise me. It's brand new. They only developed it last year. I'm thinking they probably captured some in Southeast Asia and sent them back for research. 
The term system weapon refers to a design <laughs> where most of the parts are interchangeable, allowing you to create a lot of different variations from a single original model. Using a set of basic components as the core, you can mix and match parts to create any number of different weapons. It's like a convertible rifle. By switching barrels and magazines around, you can make everything from an assault rifle and a carbine to a light machine gun and even Sean. a belt-feeding medium machine gun. Not only does this save the trouble of having to organize a bunch of different weapons on different lines, but it also has the added benefit of cutting down on the amount of training needed for each soldier. Most of the parts are made by press work and lost wax casting, so they can be manufactured in countries that lack a developed technological base. Nice touch. The variation you've got there is the belt-fed light machine gun. It was originally designed for use in squad support missions. Mm, it's a lot lighter than the M60. <laughs> yeah, you won't find a lighter weight light machine gun than that. It ought to be pretty easy to handle in the jungle. Make good use of it. That's why he yells. <laughs> Eva. Hmm? There's a house here in the middle of the woods. Yeah. So there is. It looks like a cottage, but what is it? It really was a cottage once. It was originally the dacha of a high-ranking official. Now it's being used as a relay station. Got it. There should be a supply of ammo and rations. But watch out. There's supposed to be a unit posted in there. They're here. Oh, really, Keith? Uh, yes? Who is that Tatiana? Yeah. <laughs> Taken a liking to her, have we? Mm, yeah, she's a cutie. <laughs> Who is she? I don't know that much about her, but from what I can tell, she's <laughs> hey, to be something else. Mother. <laughs> can you find out a little more? Snake. She already has a man. Eva. All right. Just give me a minute. Eva. Eva Las Vegas. Eva Las Vegas. Too bad Elvis Presley's not still here. One of the Cobras, the end, is waiting for you in Socroviano. He's a legendary sniper. One of the Cobras, <laughs> the end, is waiting for you in Socroviano. Thank you, Keith. Got it. But the suppressor... To take a... Snake, have you been contacted by Eva? Yeah. Yeah. She said we'd meet up in the ruins at the top of the mountains. She also said she picked up the key to get into the tunnel that leads to Groznygrad. What's up, Seema? Good. Hurry to the rendezvous with Eva. Head for the mountains. Your fight with the end will likely be a long and grueling one. You should stock up on battle necessities like ammunition and provisions now while you still can. You can climb up onto. Please don't get spotted here. I said it before, so I don't want to escape. For matters. Please don't get spotted. Get your butt down. All right, Kato, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Next, let's get the mic. Sean, yeah, when you're under things, then you can. Sean, no, only when you're like in the brush.
What's up, Cyberdyne? I know. <laughs> yeah, Seema, me too. Such a great game. What's wrong? Camouflage is terrible right now. <sighs> What's up, everybody? Okay. Hey, Peter, welcome back. We got what we wanted here, because that'll be good to have. That won't spoil on us. Here we go. I tell you what, if you try to do this, then let me know if y'all think this sounds really fun. A European Extreme CQC only kill all enemies run. How f crazy would that run be? That would be a crazy run. You enjoy all the killing. What's wrong? I think I should do that. Oh, gosh. Sean, that's a good point. I think kill everybody in the game. Except, you know, there's certain parts that you can't, but... Oh, gosh. Alright, let's wait it out. What's wrong? Shot.
Tay, that's what it kind of sounds like, yeah. Seema, what is up with that face? Turn that frown upside down. God. And to see your homies. Just move along. Yeah, Sean, I meant to kill everyone. Like, go out of my way to kill everybody with CQC. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Yeah, I mean, if I even try to go out here, I'll probably get caught. And I really don't have to go through all of what I just did again. These seconds take forever. It's not like 18 and a 17. 16 Mississippi. 15 Mississippi. Mississippi seconds. Hey, Daniel. All right, move along. What's going on, Daniel? HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. Unable to locate the problem. Understood. Return to the position. <laughs> 14 supercalifragilistic expialidocious. 13 supercalifragilistic expialidocious. 12. Same, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Seema. You tell me. Answer me. I don't know. Good to see you, Daniel. Here we go. All right. Well, I don't know. Good to see you, Daniel. What have you been doing? Jack, thank you, man. The comments like that really help me to keep going, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jack. Ooh, another up another porno. Can't wait to look at that one. All right, Daniel, you enjoy, you do what you gotta do, brother.
Thank you, Daniel. Maybe he's not SEMA? Then why is it on there? What is your name? John SEMA! Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> John Seema. <laughs> What's wrong? Pause effing. Oh my gosh, Sean. Well, hey, that's good to know, Seema. I don't tell my name either, so. That's Sean, that's so funny. Jane Carter. All right, nice. Sean, I, there might be a little thing to where their kid be goes. I can't remember to be honest with you though. With the capture, with the with the camera mode, there might be some parts, but I don't remember to be honest with you. Saving the game, Snake? I know Mergersaw 2 has them. You've tried SEMA? Okay. Well, Seema, is this your favorite Metal Gear game? And what, which ones have you played and which ones have you not played? Sean, in this game or Metal Gear Solid 2? I don't know. Or are you talking to Seema? John Seema! That's his real name, John Seema. I'm Sima. behind you 100%. Thanks. That means a lot. That's it? Golly, you're boring now. Gotcha. You killed the ghost? Oh, in the Sorrow Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Duh. You're a girl? Okay, well awesome. I'm a I'm a male. Hey devilish, what's up? 
Sean, it is. Miss you too. Huh? Shit. Nothing. It's not what I wanted, but oh well, it'll work. Hmm. Yeah, six spray is the thing in this game, yes. All right, here we go. Hey, sheep, what's up, man? Battle sheep. Be sure to subscribe to Battle Sheep. It's my dude. I don't think you're going well for you, man. Simba! Simba's got his head on the wall like this. There you go, what? Here's, here's a picture. It's harder for you to tell. For Simba's face, up on the wall. <laughs> I beg of you. Grant me the strength to take hey, Kyle. this final prey. You are way behind. Let oh crap! In this world, just a little longer. I have Thanks for the raid! Oh my gosh! Off. Lunar or Lunar? And Ghost Modern Warfare 2? For an eternity. And battle sheep? My thanks. I can't skip the cutscene. Hold on. Battle sheep, thank I you, dude. Thank you. The raid, thank you guys. Just a second. If you hadn't shown up, hold it. Hold your raid. Hold it. Hey H, hold it. Do you hear me? Hold fire. I am the end. I am here to send you to your Thank you for the raid, by the way. I want to raid. I want to welcome y'all, but thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe to Battle Sheep. Right me out. Hey, Sheep Bot. I brought the bot. <laughs> and we're doing the fight. Hey, Random Generation. Thank you, Sheep Bot. Oh, we're going to the codec. Orange sheep, thank you so much for the raid. Found that sniper you were talking about. Eva, I found the sniper, and we got battle sheep in here with the raid. Going in. What should we do with the raid, Eva? What should we do? Never. I see. Well, okay. Take our defensive positions. Okay. Okay. Sounds like this may take a while. It'll be a test of endurance. Almost done. We're about to welcome them here in a few minutes. Stay tuned. She bought with the sub. Ghost MW2 with the subs. I got it. I'm taking note. Over 100 years old though, so I should have the advantage in terms of We're doing a full story playthrough, so I can't skip the cutscenes, unfortunately. But we will welcome these raiders here soon. Got it. Like a plant. 
What is he? Some kind of monster? Gosh, this thing's taking forever. To the forest too. So in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh huh. But he doesn't know <sighs> you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. Got it. Okay. Here we go. For those that raided. I think. Yes. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Thank you so much for the raid. Get on in here. Thank you. Ghost Modern Warfare 2 and Cheatbot, thank you so much for the subs. And thank you so much for subscribing. And remember, you only get one life to live. Live it to the max. Rim Generation coming in. Lunar. Ghost Modern Warfare 2. H. Cheatbot, of course. Orange Sheep. And the ones that came in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate that very much. Again, be sure welcome to subscribe to Battle Sheep. <laughs> Thank you. Good to have you guys here. Hope you did well. What were you playing God of War Battle Sheep? You still playing that game? Still playing God of War? Snake, the end is a veteran sniper. Yosa did not He's know. hiding somewhere in those woods, waiting for you to appear. To appear. If he sees you... In Breath of the Wild. Ooh, nice. Make your way through the forest, hiding along the way. And yeah, watch subscribe out to him. signs of the end. Anticipate his movements, and come up on his side or get behind him for a chance to attack. Be careful. The end uses a special kind of tranquilizer round. Thank you, Sean. If he shoots you with one of those tranquilizer rounds, you'll start to lose stamina fast. When your stamina gauge reaches zero, you'll pass out. <laughs> Come on, sheep. If you're hit by a tranquilizer round, go into the survival viewer right away and treat the wound. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to sheep, guys. Olivia came in for the abuse. What kind of abuse? Make sure you keep your stamina up by hunting for food on a regular basis. This battle will be a long, grueling sniper duel. But don't let your guard down. Not even for a single moment. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to him. He's been doing some God of War. And, uh... He said Breath of the Wild. Your nose will fall off. That's not good. Yeah. Um... The Laser Pointer. Random Generation True. Especially if you're messing with a cat. That's right, Big Red. Come on in. The binoculars and first person... What does paramedic got to say? If you run out of stamina, you won't be able to resist the effects of the end's tranquilizer range, Sean. and you'll end up falling asleep. <laughs> Hunt for food on a regular basis to keep your stamina level up. The baby? They're if growing. You out of Not born yet, condition. about another month. You should think about leaving the woods and coming back later. In any case, always keep an eye on your stamina gauge. You'll thank me later. Bobby V, it's good to see you, man. You don't, you, Bobby V, you don't need to feel bad about that at all. Snake, your life will naturally I'll try to live you. even if you're wounded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you for the raid, man. Socro Vienno Forest is a big place. There's times like this that the map function and the survival viewer can be your best friend. Not only does it show you the terrain and the places you've been, but you can also use it to figure out which locations the end has chosen for his sniping positions. Learn the terrain and try to catch the end off guard from behind. Got it. Hey, you've got thermal goggles, don't you? Use those and it should make it easier to find the end, even when he's camouflaged. A word <laughs> of warning, though. I've heard that when he's meshing Olivia, with the forest, right. his body temperature drops so that it's just barely above the outside air temperature. He's probably going to be harder to find than your average grunt. Yeah, look fourth wall. Hey, you've got thermal... That's what Eva says here. I know it's hard to believe. But the end is apparently capable of photosynthesis. What the hell? He's probably got an edge over you in terms of stamina. You should start right, looking for Sounds plants and animals and conceded. prepare for a battle of attrition. <laughs> the forest you're in now is known as Socro Vienno. 
The name means the most holy. Babe, Brad, that's true. Good point. It's been venerated since ancient times. What in the Sam Hill? The spirits of the forest. It's the largest Who is Sam Hill? and deepest forest in the region, and is divided into three areas: south, west, and north. Try not to get lost, okay? Got it. There's an armory in the southern area. If you need some extra ammo, you might want to I know Sean's great. Until you defeat the end, I don't think you'll be able to pass through the forest. You'll have it's to. It's in Boston. It. <laughs> On the Sam Hill. There's an armory in the southern area of Socroviano. You can use it to replenish your supply of ammo. Those are my warfare too. Great for you. But stay alert. The end might be lying in wait for you there. No way. There's an armory in the southern. Uh, I gotta figure out where I'm at. Up and to the left. I say you turd bucket. This is not going the way I wanted it to. This is where I meant to go. But he didn't see me. What the hell? Hey, Sandukin. Ow! Right in the head. All right, in the back. Let's get through this part. I'll have it. I'm hungry. I've had enough. Yum. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. Here we go. Here we go one more time. Everybody feeling fine. Here we go now. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Snake on the water, fire in the sky. Snake on the water. A hind in the sky. <laughs> That's good. I'm here. Hi, and in the sky. That's good. Snake in the water. <laughs> hey, ghost. How about you? Uh, be nice. That would be nice. I don't think so. Sean, sure. I don't think so. Come on. Uh, fine. Have this. Ah! Ah! Oh! The show must go on.
Hey, Joshua. Be nice, that'd be nice. <laughs> Oh, I see him. Back riding. <laughs> Back riding. Angel Cruz, thank you so much for the sub, and thank you so much for subscribing to the Pudge 007 Agency channel, my friend. Remember. You only got one life to live, baby. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Backseating. It's telling the streamer how to gain, how to, yeah, back riding. That sounds dirty. Freeze. Huh? Ah! Oh! Oh! Try this on. Hey, size. Pink Dolphin. Wow, I suck. Come on, go! How you doing, Angel? Thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> Pink Dolphin, go straight. How you doing, Pink Dolphin? Get on in here! That was back riding. <laughs> that didn't sound really dirty. Welcome, Angel. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me what back riding is. I don't know. You're going to be like, BAM! I'm going to shoot you. Oh, shiitake! I say you, turd bucket! Let's go! I know, Pink Dolphin. It's very rare. Come on in, brother. It's been too long. Can you have a horse? Hey, this works. Sure. Oh my gosh! Dude, if I die, it sucks. That would suck. I want some more. I want some more. Oh my god. I see you. <laughs> Bring it, bro. Let's go. Dude. Did you? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, how did I miss? Man, he's fast. This game came out in 2004. Huh. 
<sighs> 3,004. Dang! <laughs> Solid like, Ocelot, it's been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid, you're joining in time. I know what it's like. Yeah, this game came out. My large and air ice cardboard box for a generation. I know. <laughs> hey, hunk of daddy meat. What's up? That's a lot. Whose side are you on? Angel, I don't think so. How much health? We're taking this stuff on the bottom. Look at the bottom of his health. I say you turd bucket. You born in 76, Olivia. Olivia, darling. Bro, I'm 30. I know, to, yeah, I know, hunk of daddy, but we got it, man. We got it. My year, Raul. Nice. We can do this. Got me by the year. Got me by the year. Meow. Try this on for size. How did that miss? What the heck? For some reason, you go faster in a cardboard box. Raul, I have like once, but I just that will just take so much time. Well, he's around here somewhere. Actually, since I have it, hundred percent. That's right. Ah, uh, good night, Olivia. Good night. Where is he? Oh, I see him. No! Shoot! Delicious. Gotta shoot him, gotta shoot him. Stopped him in the middle of it. Thank God. Thanks, Raul. I appreciate it, bud. Oh, I got him. Woo!
Oh, I t it, it takes a lot of self-control, that's for sure. Where the heck did he go? This is the Okay, I'm doing non-lethal playthrough. Hey, Adam. I see him. Shit! He's still there. Bring it. Hey, really, that's damn good. I love that. That's so funny. Dude, you need to at least get tired. Old man, let's go. And that's a wrap! Dilly dilly. Whoop whoop! Thank you guys. GG! Spirits of the forest, I thank you. The boss. Thank you. Would be proud. Of Thank you, hunk of daddy meat. <laughs> the time has come for a younger generation to rise. I've been wandering for more than a century. Yeah, random calorie mate. Hype. Now my journey <laughs> comes to a close. What a splendid way to end it all. <laughs> Bang breath. I have no regrets. I can return to the forum of Ha!
Daddy! Colgate. All right, we did it, baby. About to do that ladder. Oh, hold on before I do that. Before I do that, before I do that, before I do that, before I do that, before I do that. Let me get that Mazen Nagant. <laughs> Double O Snake. Rendezvous with Eva at the top of the mountains. Yeah. According to her, the shaft leading Mosin to the Nagan. mountains should be yeah. located in the far northeastern corner of the forest. Enter the shaft and head into the mountains. Proceed to the northeast. Snake. Animal Raul. It's stick animal. down on the radio screen to open the memory. Oh my gosh, that's all you got. Press. Snake, that area is in. Snake, that area. We talked about my cores. Snake, be careful when. Snake, what's that you're wearing? It's moss camouflage. I got it from the end. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks everybody for being here. You guys are awesome. Ends, Thank you so much, ahead. everybody, for being here. You guys if are you amazing. Wear it in a place where the sun shines, you'll automatically recover stamina. It'll also give you a high rate of camouflage in Siviato Gorni and Socrovieno, the end's home territory. Thank y'all so much for being here. Splitter is the tunnel to the mountains is to the northeast. Head that way. Okay, Angel, sounds good. Enjoy your Bioshock playthrough. Snake, I found out what I could about your Tanya. Just as I thought, she's apparently Sokolov's lover. Uh -huh. When Sokolov was taken away from his research facility, she was taken along with him. What? So she's been with him since he was at the research facility? Hmm, that's what it looks like. Hey, Are Gage, you sure gamer. About that? Yes. Why? The major said Sokolov wasn't the kind of guy who'd take Hey, YT. Sat run. Mm, maybe he was lonely, being away from his family for so long. And whatever else he is, Sokolov's still a man. It's only natural he'd be attracted to her. Only natural? She's irresistible. Gorgeous in a girl next door kind of way. Nice proportions, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your type, huh? Eva. Gotta go. Eva. The tunnel to the Oh, <laughs> random. <laughs> RG. The real Tanya? Where's Rose? <laughs> Sean, yes, yeah, she was. Oh, don't need cigar gas spray. No. Need him to talk about my Mosin Nagant. Hey, McAndrew lad, welcome back, dude. Talk about my new sniper rifle. My new rifle. My sniper rifle. You're using a Mosin Nagant? Yes. Yeah. It's what the end was. Really? I see. The M1891-30 Mosin Nagant is a real beauty of a bolt-action sniper rifle. It's been in use since World War II. Ugh. Mosin Nagants are created by selecting the best-made weapons out of the regular M1891-30 rifle production line for their high precision and upgrading them to sniper rifles. They add an optical sight, make the trigger pull lighter, bend the charging handle underneath, you know, that kind of stuff. Hey, Super Kiro. The Mosin Nagant has been known far and wide since the war for its superior capabilities. 
They were so highly valued that a lot of German snipers on the Eastern Front Dody, what's to up? Use captured Mosin Nagants instead of their own rifles. It looks like the N took the one he'd been using since the war and modified it to fire tranquilizer rounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's also been fitted with a folding stock and a pistol grip. No way. Maybe for parachute jumps? Well, I don't know why he did it, but that's the tool of a legendary sniper. It's got to be a fine piece of work. But remember, the Mosin Nagant is a bolt-action rifle, so you'll have to load a new tranquilizer round into the chamber by hand every time you fire. Okay, Angel. Sounds good. That means no repeat firing. One shot, one kill. Raul, nope. In addition to... Natalia is not my girl. Miss Pudge is my girl. My wife. Yeah, Natalia. She's here a lot, but yeah, she's not my girl. <laughs> <laughs> My good. Who's ready for that ladder, though? Hero, uh, no. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, no. Here we go. Right. When you fire con Good. You're in the tunnel. Yeah. The ladder at the end of the tunnel will take hey, you I'm up into hungry. the mountains. Head down the tunnel and climb up the like ladder. For real. Eva, how are things on your end? Are you going to be able to make it? I'm fine. I managed to slip out okay, though I did run into a few snags. Is there a problem? I took a little detour on my way here. Right, bro. Yeah, I here thought I since am you went tired. to all this trouble to meet me, I should give you a present. Ooh. Present? What is it? You really want to know? Yeah. It's a secret. I haven't been streaming all day, but I did work all day. You'll find out when you get here. Good. You're in the tunnel. The ladder at the end of the tunnel will take you up into the mountains. Head down the tunnel and climb up the ladder. Good. <sighs> Where do I work? I'm a physical therapist. Looks like you got yourself some funky clothes there. Yeah, it's called a sneaking suit. Yeah, we already talked about that. Covering your body is a good... Mystery beverages? Nice. Hey, Jimmy! Saving the game, Snake? Dang, Otaya, that's amazing. I'm starving. Will you get me some? <laughs> Angel Cruz, yeah, no doubt. No, Big Daddy, please don't hurt me. Yeah, Ro, I'd rather not. I'm, I'm very happy with doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Epic stream tonight, guys. Thank y'all for being here. You guys are awesome. Hero, I heard you the last time. I know. I answered you. I said I know I do. Paramedic, what was that movie you were talking about earlier? Which one? Hey, most stuff. My mother, the teenage whatever. Oh, that. Sorry. The Major was talking to me at the time, and I wasn't really paying attention. Don't worry. I'll get it right next time. <laughs> I mean, I tell you, that's amazing. Hey, Kiro, I said, yeah, I know I look tired. I said, I know I do. Y'all ready? Oh. Here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Sean. Get that out of here.
Eater. I'm looking down, I'm looking down! Master Slayer Raid? Oh god, oh god! Night shame! Oh no! I'm under enemy fire! Secure the perimeter! Not shame! Thank you, Not Shame, for the raid! Bella! Thank you so much for the for the raid. Thank you so much for that. Hayden Redneck Beauty, Uniquely Jacqueline, Two Guys Gaming 24, thanks for the sub. Binge! Wow. Julie, GG Wolf, Two Guys, Gamer Furry Ninja, S. Mitchell, uh, Master Slayer Dark Swoles, that's who else we got in here. Tana, BTT, M Michelle Koyak, Cat Games, thank you so much for coming in. I think it said Redneck Beauty. It was Bala, Solid Nate, Dark Orlando. Not shame, of course. Security Shark. Binge! Thank you. Shock Plays. Hey, Papa. Thank you. If anyone else that I missed, thank you all so much for the raid. For those that just subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, my bad. It probably is clipping a little bit. It's getting really close to it. So, Nate, thank you. Amazing raid. It probably was clipping a little bit. That's getting pretty close to it. Thank you so much for subscribing. And Shock, am I getting raided? Thank you, Shock Plays. Appreciate you coming in. Cat Games, thank you for the sub. Wow. Shock, thank you for rating Shock Plays as well. Be sure to subscribe to Shock Plays. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Shock Plays. Thank you for that rate as well. Thank you, guys. Dark Swalls. Wow. Wow, all of you guys, thank y'all so much for those raids, and thank you so much for subscribing, guys. Remember, y'all, that just subscribed. You get one life to live, baby. Make sure y'all live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Hey, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, be sure to sub to Night Shame, of course. There you go. There's Night Shame right there. Be sure to subscribe to him. Great. Great streamer. Probably going back to do his thing. But thank you so much for the subs, guys. Thank you, Irish Reaper. Thank you, guys. No, not James. Yeah. Hey, Michelle. Thank you for coming in. Quietly and quickly and moving out. I understand, man. Thank you so much, Night Shame again. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Be sure to show him some love if you have it. Mr. Night Shame, you're awesome, dude. Where does that put our count at now? Papa, thanks for the host. Oh, uh, the host don't pop the host don't pop up anymore unless it has two or more people. Wow, the bot's not working. Of course not.
Damn bot. The bot's on holiday. Yeah, the bot's down. Dead it! The bot is down. Repeat, the bot is down. Mother of pearl. Bot. 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 All right, see you, Mitchell. Yeah, we're playing Metal Gear Solid Three. Papa. Cherry Quench without a host. Thank you. Not shame. You're a beast. <laughs> Sorry, Papa. The bot. That's right. The bot is a dud. Yes, it is. Thirty-nine twenty. Dark death. Wow. Thank you, YT. Thank you, Dark Death. How you doing, Dark Death? What you up to? It's a dirt. Bot's on that top patrol. Yeah. You found your way to the mountains, I see. Yes, I did. There's an underground tunnel near the top. You can use it to sneak into Groznygrad. <laughs> Papa. But Eva said you the door it. to the tunnel is sealed off. Yeah. She's supposed to bring me the key. First, rendezvous with you, Eva and get the key from her. The rendezvous point is in the ruins at the summit. The summit is still further up the mountain. Keep heading up towards the summit. Snake, paramedic has something to tell you. No, no. Snake, the altitude in those mountains is pretty high. Got it. That okay. means the oh, oxygen what? concentration in the air is lower than normal. When there's less oxygen body, in the body. air, naturally Probably. you'll be body, body. less oxygen <laughs> as well. And the oxygen content of your blood will go down. In other words, you run the risk of becoming hypoxic. Hypoxia is a very serious condition. In the worst cases, it can lead to pulmonary and cerebral edema. I don't think you need to worry right now, but all the same, be careful. So, what do I need to be careful about? In Thank high you, altitude Nita. areas, you will tire quicker than normal. Uh, hey, Cat Games, okay. you take care of what you need to do, Cat. Thank so you so much. Uphill takes a lot of stamina as it is. Have a great, ground, great time. <laughs> the air up there is thinner than normal. Do the best you can to, uh... A lot faster now than ever before. Keep an eye on your stamina. Mod those. Be sure to eat something to restore your stamina before you run out. Good luck. That's impressive, if you can do that. <laughs> impressive. Snake, watch out for enemy soldiers carrying RPG-7. What? A full-on rocket blast is not something you can just walk away from. Are you sure about However, that? It takes some time to reload a rocket launcher. Use that opening <laughs> to your advantage. I'm guessing from your ch your name, you probably stream too, huh? Cat games. You can answer that if you want. Snake. If you, you said you gotta leave, but if you need to leave, first leave. Person view to take a good look and find out what's inside. Sometimes it's dangerous to blindly go after an item. That's why you should check first to make sure the item in the item box is worth the trouble. If you can't get a good look. You can use your binoculars. Okay, Kagan, I went and subscribed to you to show you some love. Have a good night. Appreciate you stopping in. When you press the, the weapon button. Snake, watch out. That area is home to the Emperor Scorpion. Of course. The Emperor Scorpion is said to be the largest scorpion in the in world. In the world. It's in the world. It's potent neurotoxin, so take care that you don't get stung. Yes, ma'am. If you do get stung, go into the survival viewer and use cure to inject yourself with serum right away. John, that's right. Okay. So how's it taste? Not very good, I'm afraid. Try to Abigail. Oh. Damn. Don't get so discouraged. There are other ways to use it besides eating it, right? Like what? Like catching one alive with a tranquilizer gun and throwing it at the enemy? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I wonder if you even remember that you were on a mission. <sighs> <laughs> Snake, climbing uphill takes a lot of stamina as it is, but on top of that, the air up there is thinner than normal. You're burning through stamina a lot faster now than ever before. Keep an eye on your stamina. There should be white rumped vultures living in that area. Yeah. The white rumped vulture is a type of vulture found in India. Its diet consists mostly of dead animal carcasses. I don't think it'll attack you, but it's a fairly large bird of prey, so you probably won't be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Kadeo Kojima, seriously? Got it. But there is something here that's bothering me. What is it? 
They say the white rumped vulture doesn't just eat animal carcasses. It eats human ones as well. Is that so? Yeah. So then if a person eats a white rumped vulture, does that mean he's eating human meat too? What do you think? Stop it already. You're gonna make me lose my appetite. Security shark, how would you know? But okay. No worries. That area is home to the Thai Cobra. The Thai Cobra is a large venomous Yeah, I want some more. Yeah, um... Yeah, fun fact, if you eat the white rump vulture... Okay. You get a notification, but that doesn't tell you that you that they it came from this channel, though, security. <laughs> I don't think, does it? Interesting, that area. if it did. A day of never. But the surprise... Never. You made it to the mountains. I did. Those mountains are known as Krasnogorye. The name means the Red Mountain Ridge in Russia. What was the name, security? The entire range has been I'll let you know. What was the name? You can say the it. Great Fortress of Grad. The area near the top has been dug with bunkers and trenches, and there are anti-aircraft gun emplacements everywhere. It's literally an impenetrable wall. Proceed with caution. Oh, there's a provision store in the hillside area. And they came from Not Shame episode. Stream, not mine. I'll meet you in the ruins at the top of the mountains. There should be a not shame stream. The summit is still a ways up. Keep going forward. Yeah, wrong one. By the way, Snake, do you have a calorie mate? Yeah. Is it any good? Yeah. Oh. You want it? What? Do you want the calorie mate? What? What are you saying? You want it, don't you? Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> so you don't want it then? No, but if you were going to give it to me as a token of thanks for me helping you out, then of course I wouldn't refuse it. Uh huh. Are you on a diet? What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? Really good for losing weight. Are you saying I'm fat? <laughs> no. I'm not on a diet, and I don't need one. I, I just wanted to try the taste. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Be careful with what you say. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, is it true? Is what true? That it's good for losing weight. Yeah. Calorie Mate provides a nutritionally balanced source of energy, and it makes counting calories easy. <laughs> That's what's supposed to make it good for dieting. Oh, I see. I heard that all of the geisha in Japan use it. Geisha? Yeah. I've never heard about that. Really? Really? Yes. I'm sure there are some geisha out there using calorie mate for diets, but I doubt all of them are using it. No, I guess not. You must be worn out from all that mountain climbing. Yeah. There's a provision storehouse at the back of the hillside area. Why don't you go stock up on rations? Sounds good. I'll meet you in the room. Okay. You want to save? Hold on a sec. Got it. Save and moving on, baby. Moving up on them mountains. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. Here we go. Let's wake up. Agents. What is your profession? I know, Natalia. It's getting late. Hey, Lincho. What's up, Lincho? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Yeah, Dark Death. Sigint is the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. Yes, yeah, same person. Snake, have you ever seen North by Northwest? Hey, Adam. This thank you. One. It's about this ordinary guy who runs an ad agency. He's mistaken for someone else and gets kidnapped and forced to do a certain job. As a result, Daniel. he gets tangled up in a conspiracy. And pretty soon he's traveling to New York, Chicago, and even Mount Rushmore in pursuit of the real culprit. 
Hitchcock's films always keep you on the edge of your seat, but sometimes they can be funny when you least expect it. That's why I love them. Have you seen all of his films? All of them? Oh, not even close. He's been making movies since before I was born. I guess I might have seen some of them on TV. But the first movie I ever saw in the theater was a Hitchcock film. We all went and saw it as a family. It was Rebecca. This was when you were a kid? Yeah, my parents loved watching movies, so they took me along. I didn't quite understand the plot, but for some reason I thought it was really scary. Actually, I remember the candy bar they bought me on the way home better than the movie itself. That's when you fell in love with movies? You could say that. It was like an irresistible force at that point. I was completely swept away. Mm -hmm. Candy, it's pretty tasty. Yep, so the... Um, animals is a good one here. Wow, I'm getting low. Bit. Ow. Okay, Dark Orlando, welcome back. Daniel, no! work Dang it Right, you're seeing things. I know dark. <laughs> so funny. Dang it. Hang him out. God. <laughs> Dude, crawl in there. Let's go. Yes. That's what I needed right there. The elusive mountain croc. <laughs> Random generation. 
It's like it's like a it's like if we were watching like a if we were watching a Animal Planet. The elusive mountain crow creaks up on its unconscious prey. None can resist its tea bag. <laughs> Abigail, it is. Dark Orlando, I mean, we do, but every once in a while. Dark Orlando, you can, just don't make it excessive. You prefer Morgan Freeman? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, frick! <laughs> hey, what the frick? Dark, you're fine, man. What the frick? Well, I in my stream, I don't know. Maybe about another hour. Okay, Dark Orlando. Thanks for stopping by, by the way. Love Daddy Samuel Jackson. That would be perfect for you. What, Kanye West does music? I <laughs> did. Talk to people, you're near mine. Just King K. Rule. Nope. Dark Death. That'd be funny if they were just like, man, we're just gonna let this guy by. This dude's crazy. Dark Orlando, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but I'm probably going to get it just to play a snake on stream. That'll be fun. I know they nerfed it, man. What's up with that? Hey, Night Shane, welcome back, dude. Epic Raid, man. Thank you. There's Night Shane. Be sure to subscribe to him, guys, if you haven't yet. Please do it. Please do it right meow. Pretty tasty. That was awesome, man. Epic. As always. We try to help each other out, but he definitely helps out. But his raids are top notch, dude. Oh my gosh. OK, 
Okay, which one do I have? Okay, good. He is going to sleep. He's going to he's going to sleep. Dark Orlando, he's going to sleep to my sexy voice. I'm going to try to talk like Night Shame. I can't because his voice is way too sexier. Is way much more sexier than mine. <laughs> that's what that's what Night Shame does when he's like he's like you know he's into something. He's like he's doing something kind of. He's like to get in something. Night Shame will go. <laughs> I love it. No, nothing here. I know it's not as his voice is awesome. Oh. I must be seen. I must be seen. Bam! I must be seen. Yeah, a tranquilizer to your face. Yeah, I love it, man. He's like, he's like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, random generation. There's no way I could try to talk like him. It's way too difficult. Must be seeing things. He ain't seen nothing, bro. Night shame, probably. That's okay, though, because you're awesome. We love you. Huh? No! HQ. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. Suck it! Nobody! No! Nope, nope. Stay away. Don't you do it! HQ, this is Crocodile. You're crocked, aren't you? Yeah, no back riding, Raul. <laughs> RPG! Ho 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 ho! I know, man, Nightshame. You're like the bomb, man. Such an awesome dude. <laughs> Boy. I know, man. An enemy gunship. See ya, Broly. Good night, dude. Boy. Oops. Damn it. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. Control here. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Gosh. Do you want to save? Yes. Gosh, I can't believe I missed. Thank you, Raul. To mediate or meditate? Big difference. To mediate or meditate? Those are two completely different things. <laughs> I think that's a gun. <laughs> hmm, Abigail, a dud. I do believe he's back riding. Snake, have you ever heard of the blob? No, I haven't. A meteorite. Trying to call me fat. And inside there's this. I right, see you, Kiro. Thanks for hanging out. The ooze starts swallowing people and grows to an enormous size. 
after it eats a bunch of the townspeople, it starts to fill up a movie theater. Then these young people try to save the town from its gruesome fate. It's pretty frightening to see something that's not even supposed to be alive suddenly start moving around and eating people. Not something you see every day. Meditate, okay. Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm restarting it. I'm like, ugh, I don't want to wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait for that caution. <laughs> I believe I can fly. And I believe I can touch the sky. Rain about an every night and day. Night chain makes my dreams fly away. But I believe I can soar. Not shame going through that open door. I believe I can fly. <laughs> and I'm gone. Never saw a vision of Metal Gear survive, and he just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Jesse, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, what's up, Jesse? That's perfect. <laughs> Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. Welcome to the Space Jam. Oh, dance to your dance to the Space Jam. All right, all right, all right. To the slam, it's people on the slam. Missus, she's doing well. She's a lot bigger. Because she's pregnant. About a month away. Just about a month away now, guys, till Pudge Jr.'s here. Isn't that crazy? Sweet. All right. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Shoot! Oh, come on! Took out that down. Oh, get him! Oh, God! Yes! Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Nothing to see here. Nothing. Huh? What's wrong? Woo! That's close. I'm hungry. That's damn good. Hey, ICR. Snake, what are you doing, sir? Snake, you're crocked, aren't you? AM pretty much.
<laughs> Love daddy. KM, I don't know about that. We'll see. Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Yeah. Stay alert. Volgan has sent out attack choppers to stop you. No way. You saw them at the heliport, didn't you? Nope. They're probably already patrolling the area. If you get spotted by the enemy, you'll be dealing with that thing. No way. Don't worry. I found an RPG-7. That should be enough to swat down a few flies. You could also try using an anti-aircraft gun. Death Stranding, Raul. You can take over an anti-aircraft gun by pressing the action button when you're near it. Jesse, me too. That would be so cool. I'll meet you in the ruins at the top of the mountains. See those ruins at the summit? I'll be waiting for you there. I'll meet you in the ruins at the... Snake climbing. You can cap. Sigint, the chopper we were talking about is flying around. Oh, yeah. The one at the heliport? Yeah. This is a good one. Perhaps it's an armed variation of the MI8 hip. No. Some of it looks the same, but the overall shape is different. It's got stub wings, and the cockpit canopy looks like an angular greenhouse. No kidding. Then it must be some kind of new model. I've heard stories recently that the Soviets are developing a flying infantry combat vehicle. That's gotta be it. A flying infantry combat vehicle? Yeah, a transport chopper with troop carrying capabilities. Yeah. Think of it as an attack transport chopper version of France's AMX VCI or the Soviet BMP. They must be doing field tests on the initial prototype. A next generation chopper that's a little smaller than the hip. Maybe we should call it a hind. Hmm, not bad. It's cool with me. Then it's settled. We'll refer to that new type helicopter as a hind from now on. A hind. <laughs> Semi-closed. A hind -y. The hind is armed with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun on the nose and rocket pods and anti-tank missiles on the stub wing hard points. Normally, you'd be crazy to try and fight it on foot. If it starts attacking Deluded. with the machine gun or the rockets, take cover behind something as fast as you can. As for the missiles, you should be able to knock out their guidance system by using a chaff grenade to block the radio signal. Your assault rifle won't penetrate the Heinz armor. Try the RPG-7. If you can take over one of the anti-aircraft guns in the mountains, you'll be more than a match for that Heinz. The Hind is a transport attack chopper that can carry personnel. It might drop some troops on you. Don't get caught off guard. Got it. Bro, I got it. I get that. The Hind is protected by heavy armor, but a rifle bullet might be able to penetrate through the cockpit canopy. Try using the SVD. Your assault rifle won't penetrate the Hind's armor. The water pattern was... Stay up. Okay, backpack. Who did the SVD RPG? Way too nice. Battle sheep. My gosh. You're still here. You're pretty good. Deo Kojima. The one pound donation again. My gosh. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm excited about Death Stranding. I'm very excited. Naked Snake 114, really what? Really what? Hello. <laughs> You're using an RPG-7, huh? The RPG-7 is a state-of-the-art, portable anti-tank weapon developed as the successor to the RPG-2. It first saw active deployment in 1962, year before last. Actually, maybe portable is not the right word. The launcher and the grenade together weigh over 20 pounds. It's not something you can use on the move. When you equip it, make sure you use first-person view to aim. Got it. Hey, you Carlos. can fire it as soon as you're in position, but if you use the aim mask, button yeah. to look through the scope, the you should be awesome. able to get a pretty accurate shot. Then just use the weapon button to pull the trigger, and the propellant will shoot the grenade out of the launcher. Immediately after that, stabilizer fins will deploy from the back of the grenade. Oh, yeah. After it travels about 35 feet, the rocket fuel inside the grenade will ignite, accelerating the grenade towards its target. Even if it doesn't hit the target, the safety mechanism will kick in and cause it to self-destruct when it exceeds the target range or after a few seconds of flight. The warhead is made of the plastic explosive heat. It's capable of penetrating up to 13 inches of armor. Darn. That should be enough to shoot down a heavily armored attack chopper. Oh, one more thing. The rocket fires when the grenade first starts its descent, so don't try to fire it real close to the ground. So you can't use it from a lying position. Right. Don't forget that. I won't. No detective, I have not. Your assault rifle won't pen... Carlos, how you doing today, man? Okay, see ya. Time to look good. Okay. Ooh, Carlos. Final exam. <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> well, that was quick. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagohat is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. 
Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the Weapons Lab. <laughs> the Weapons Lab is divided into three wings. There's the East Wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the Main Wing, where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohat is. Finally, there's the West Wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. The west wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be colonel class to get in. Colonel class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Pretend you're him. How do I do that? Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind. They won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? Hmm. Right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother, and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? <sighs> That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake? Is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. <sighs> Snake?
What's wrong? See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. <laughs> Colonel, did he talk? No, he died before I could get it out of him. Was it the spy then? Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> but does this mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. A Cold War, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. 
What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagohod and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. <laughs> Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. them up properly. Looking good now. Yeah, we're going to have to stop the stream here in just a few minutes. I gotta get to bed. Um, You've got the key start from late. Eva. Now use and we'll start it back. We'll be streaming a lot more tomorrow. Great hey, Assassin. Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. Yeah, I'm gonna make you wait tomorrow. Do I gotta wait till tomorrow to do Some it? Some types of food spoil. I uh, know. I just. Uh, I get up it in the morning. It looks like you can get up. You say Granin's shoes were rigged uh. with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described. A miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on her. Hmm. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. Yeah, Nita, I can't do that since I'm going. I'm doing a non-lethal playthrough. I can't use the knife. Sigint. Yo. Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle that, for us to make our That's technically that's lethal. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle or wig is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed which gives the wing an extra boost. Yeah. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these wigs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The wig's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field tested as a transport craft. Yeah. The wig has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour. And its range is pretty good, too. Not that speed is going to help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. Thank you, Eugene. Whenever you find a new weapon or piece of equipment... Tiger Strike... Yeah, I bet she doesn't. Thank you, Solid Rock. Saving the game, Snake? Yeah. I am. I am.
We've already done... We haven't defeated the Fury yet. We've got... How many hours into this game now? I'm gonna find out. Come on! 11 hours and 11 minutes. Snake, you know the bridge on the River Kwai? Haha, <laughs> I haven't seen it. It's about a group of Allied prisoners in Japanese-occupied Burma in World War II who worked together to build a bridge. Under the leadership of an English officer, the prisoners and the Japanese gradually bring the project toward completion. But at the same time, the Allied forces are hatching a plan to blow up the bridge. War and futility go hand in hand. Solid Rock, yeah, uh, so. Death Stranding. I didn't think you were the type to go for war movies, um, though. Actually, this guy invited me to go see it with him. A date? Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. I call it that. Still, you just don't seem like the type. I see a dice. Well, he seemed to like war movies. He was a Navy boy. I was still an intern back then. They brought him in with a broken leg. He said, when I'm all healed up, will you go see a movie with me to celebrate? If it's okay. He was so shy. Where is he now? With the Seventh Fleet. I see. Mm -hmm. Do you want to save? Chin up. I'll be in touch. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Death Stranding was one of the big ones. There was a few things. There was a ghost of something that was awesome. I can't remember, but it was like a ghost of like a samurai or something. I almost said Tsuchinoku. I can't remember the name of it, but that looked awesome. Um, what else came out on E3? I can't think of anything right now. Chest stream Sam. Ooh, my noodles. I cannot think. I can't remember. The Red Dead Redemption 2 does one of them. You've got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. <laughs> Sean, yeah, the great right. fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the I underground tunnel fans. is yeah. in the summit area. Hurry. <sighs> the assault rifle will... When you use... Mm. I do it. Eat food. Okay, whatever. HQ. This is HQ. What's going on? Respond. Nothing to see here. Nothing here. All right. So this is where we're about to save it. Do you want to save? Yeah. This is where we're going to stop it and come back for the Fury. Tomorrow. <laughs> so I like all girls that are hot. I don't care about their personality or if they're nice to people, but as long as they're hot, I love them. 
Oh, it would help if I actually saved it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Chin up. I'll be in touch. Of course, Sean, of course. Okay, um, that's. Is he still gonna be playing? The collector's edition? Hmm. Okay, all right. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to show some love uh, to one uh, a streamer. Let's do a little quick raid, if y'all are okay. A um, guy named Where's Barry. He be actually became a member not long ago. So let's do a raid real quick. He actually is very similar to my streams as well. Um, really interactive guy. He responds to the chat very well, too. So let's go raid this dude. Tell him Pudge Raid. And just be sure to like and subscribe. He might be getting close to the end of his stream. Oops, and I messed up. Crap! Um, Dark Death already did it. Yeah, so type in Pudge Raid. And uh, show him some love. Be sure to subscribe. And show him some love. Thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Hope you have a good rest of y'all's evening. But until then, guys, this is Pudge007 signing off. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, y'all. Thank you.